a Whirlpool microwave that the light will not shut off. There's a part of the circuit board that has failed. Part of it has gone bad is this triac right here. This triac is a semiconductor that is the equivalent of an AC relay, but it's solid state. And it turns the light on, it dims it, and we've got two terminals here that are shorted. This is the reading on the triac on the board. It's reading zero ohms, so we have a dead short. So this is how this triac turns on the light bulb. This is your light bulb right here. That's, this is your hood light. That's the light bulb right there. So the current path is like this. You have the line voltage coming in right here. It goes through the fuse. It goes through a choke, which reduces noise and reduces the surge current when you turn when you plug in the microwave. It goes through the cavity thermostat, which should be a closed circuit. Comes through here, this way, through the triac. Now the triac is open, it's normally not on, it's not a closed circuit. And I'll show you how that triac gets turned on. It goes through here and it meets up with one side of that light bulb. This is your load here, so they, this has resistance. So 120 volts is supposed to appear across that. The return path goes this way. It goes through another inductive choke that again reduces, reduces noise and reduces surge current when, you, when the microwave is plugged in and returns through neutral. So that's, the, that's your current path right there. And what happens, and the way this triac works is this is an electronic switch and uh, it is turned on by a biasing voltage right here. This biasing voltage here, just say, comes from a device like this. It's an opto triac. You have an LED inside here that shines on another triac right here. We just call this a triac shines on that and it turns that triac on and that triac sends a biasing voltage to this main triac right here. The reason we use this opto coupler is because a microcontroller is connected to this. All right, and you don't want, this is a microcontroller, you don't want this microcontroller to be in any way connected to the line voltage over here. So you have galvanic isolation by just having this microcontroller turning on an LED and the LED just there's where your isolation is it just shines on that triac there it turns that that mini triac on and that turns on the main triac and this is your actually this is your opto isolator that contains the LED right there and contains the little mini triac that biases this triac right here the other side of this is connected to the microcontroller which is on the other side of this board here so when the customer tries to replace a light bulb, what happens is the light bulb is really old, then when you twist it, sometimes this threaded piece becomes separated from the glass and those two wires there get twisted together. Well, that causes a dead short right here. And if that light is turned on when that happens, you've got current flowing, you have a lot of current flowing through, flowing through here. And what happens sometimes it'll trip the breaker because this fuse right here cannot react quick enough. It's a slow blow fuse or the uh, fuse will blow or nothing or the breaker doesn't trip or the fuse doesn't blow because this sometimes is shorted out um, and, and so quickly and such for such a short time neither that happens, but it shorts out this track. So this track becomes a wire, essentially becomes a wire. And that's what happens there. So the next time uh, after you have that bulb replaced there and you put a new bulb in, this triac is already damaged. It's just a wire. It doesn't matter what this control circuit over here does anymore. 
in trying to control the triac, it can't control the triac anymore. And so that light bulb just stays on. That switch is basically closed all the time. So that's how that circuit works. That's it for this video. I hope you found it to be interesting and informative. If you'd like to join our Facebook group, here's a link to it right here, or you can go to Facebook groups and type in the keyword, the tech circuit. This is a link to our website right here. This is a link to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.